to my channel thank you so much for clicking to watch this video if this is your first time here you're most welcome and if you're coming back to watch another one of my videos thank you today we're gonna be unbagging my ipsy bag for the month of February I'm not gonna be unboxing the glam bag plus until the March box because I didn't get the box this month so that's why I have the $10 bag here to unbag with you guys ipsy is $10 a month and you get five deluxe size sample products as well as you get um, some full size products. It could be like lip products or brushes, which typically are full size. And then when you get like other makeup products, you get them in deluxe samples. So yeah, but I think it's a very good value for your money if you are um, new to makeup or like beauty products and you just want to try out different brands and just test out products and not really break the bank on testing out different products I think book ipsy would be really nice for you it's a, it's the first subscription service I ever had and I really enjoyed getting ipsy was like getting my own little gift in the mail each month so I always look forward to my ipsy and I still do look forward to my ipsy till now it just took a little bit longer to get here this month so now that it's here I do want to go ahead and show you guys what I got in my bag this month so this is what the typical packaging of the bag looks like. So I'm just going to pull out everything out of the bag so we can see what's in here right away. Okay. So, so this is what the bag looks like this month. I really like this month's bag. I think it's one of the better bags that we've got quality wise and the way it looks as well. So I'm not going to go into the bag as yet because we did get some products outside of the bag in the actual packaging. So it comes with a card in the bag and on the back here it lists all of the products that I did get in my bag and also gives some information and as to how to use the products as well. So, so I think it's nice that they're actually um, telling you what each product is in your bag and how you can use them in case, just in case the products are new to you and you're not really sure how they work or what they're used for. It's nice that you have a card that kind of gives you a description and kind of helps you figure out what each product is. So I'm just going to rest that to the side right now and we're going to move on to the first product I have here which are a couple of sheet masks and that's what they look like. Let me just get them out of this wrapping. Okay, so we got two sheet masks here. Okay, so the masks are from a brand called Sir Medic. I've never heard of this brand or tried anything from it. But I typically do like um, masks that I get in Ipsy. Once I try them, I typically do enjoy using them. So I'm going to definitely give these a try and see how they work out. Um, one is a Vital Collagen Mask and the other one is a Age Control Multi Vita um, Mask. And let me see if we do get some instructions in English. I do like when my masks are able to just sit on my face and I don't have to wash them off once I'm finished. So I hope that I don't have to rinse this one off. Okay, so yeah. So it's a mask that I could leave on. It says to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and tap lightly to allow the remaining products to penetrate the skin. Use two to three times a week. But so those are two products that I actually am very happy with because I do tend to use a good bit of sheet mask. And so I like when I get them in Ipsy because they tend to give us two to try out. Now let's move on to the next product that came out of the bag. It's this right here. Looks like we have a blush brush or something. It's a larger brush. Typically I always get like eye brushes, but this time I got like a larger face brush and this is what that looks like. Oh, it's super soft. It's from the brand Farah. Oh, we've been getting quite a bit of Farah brushes in here. Normally we get a lot of Luxie or um, SL Miss Glam, but lately we've been getting quite a bit of Farah brushes. So this is from the brand Farah and it is their 50F brush. It's super soft. This would be really nice for applying like blush or even a little bit of bronzer. That would be really nice for that because it's not too dense, but it's also not too flimsy. Like it, it has a good bit of density, but not too overly dense. So I do like brushes like this for like blush or bronzer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on some blush because I don't have too much blush on. This makeup is so old on my face. I've been wearing it since like 10 o'clock this morning. So it's getting to the point where it's been on for, oh, what's that? Okay. It's getting to the point where it's been on for a while, but I'm just going to pop, just gonna pop a little bit of blush 
on my face using this blush blush <laughs> I'm just gonna pop a little bit of blush on my face using this brush pop off the excess because this blush is very pigmented It's very soft on the skin. It's not too dense and I feel like it's the perfect size. You could also use this as a powder brush if you really like brushes like this. I typically like larger size brushes for powder but I definitely could use this mostly for just bronzing or putting on blush. That's typically what I use brushes like this for but it doesn't say what type of brush it is. Let me see if it tells you. Oh, it says it's a powder brush. I definitely could use it though to apply all over face powder, but for me, I typically like my powder brushes to be a little bit larger. So, all right, so that was the two products that came outside of the bag. Now let's get inside the bag and see what we actually got in here. First thing I'm seeing here is the Feel Renewed Pumpkin Walnut Facial Cleanser, Deep Skin Treatment, and Gentle Exfoliant. Yeah, so this is a face cleanser. Um, I typically do like getting face cleansers to try out in Ipsy. Yeah, they come in handy when I travel. I typically don't want to take like my full size cleanser that I use with me all the time. And it's just a lot more convenient to travel with like a smaller size um, sample size cleanser for a couple of days versus taking a full size bottle along with you. It just creates more space when packing. And I do pack a lot of makeup when I travel. So I do like the fact that we get cleansers in here. That's one and two. I actually do enjoy testing out new cleansers and stuff like that. I never really, I don't think my skin is too sensitive. It does get reactions to product that doesn't work well with it. But it also is not the most sensitive skin type. So I typically could try stuff without having to worry that it's going to really, really do any harm to my skin. So I'm definitely going to give this one a try. I've never tried anything with pumpkin and walnut in it on my face before. So this should be interesting and I wonder if I could smell it to see. Lightly can smell like a pumpkin-y fragrance. Like it does definitely have some type of pumpkin smell but it's kind of hard to tell because it does have a safety seal which is always good to see on products. So this thing I have in here is a lip gloss it looks like. It's by the brand Bell and Agent. That's what that looks like. That's the packaging at least. And, ooh. Oh wow. This is what the color looks like. That's a very red gloss. I typically don't go for red glasses. I typically like my glasses to be more on the nude side or clear. I just feel like they, if they do smear and move around on my lips they won't look so bad versus a color like this could get everywhere and really show up so i typically don't go for colors like this i'm going to swatch it because sometimes they do look this pigmented but when they swatch they swatch a little bit more clear okay this is going on quite opaque i don't know i don't know okay. so i'm gonna swatch it on my lips and see i do have on some gloss um right now I mean, it's not a bad color at all it actually looks really nice on the lips and I love the way the gloss feels it's just not something I mean it's not bad it's not like very very bright red it kind of goes a little bit it kind of shares out a little bit more on the lips once you put it on but that could be because I was wearing a gloss already but I do like the way it looks and I love the way it feels it didn't go in and disturb that gloss I was wearing at all it layered really nicely over that gloss so I do think it's a very nice formula the formula does feel really good but this one I think is something that I can actually work with even though I was kind of skeptical about it now that it's on my lip and I'm seeing it it's definitely something that I could wear so I'm gonna just leave it on the shade I got is I love that car and the last and final thing that's in my bag right here is also in a tube and it's the no pore pore blem oh it's the no pore blem priming water ah 
no problem no problem no problem I got it now <laughs> okay so it's the no problem priming water um, by the brand touch and soul I feel like I've heard oh wow interesting it's actually it actually looks like it's water like do you guys see that it actually dripped out of there so easy it feels like an oil Whoa. it kind of feels like an oil but at the same time it's it's like blending in like water does to the skin and then once it's drying down it kind of feels like it's getting a little bit tacky maybe that's me no it is getting a little bit tacky let me stop touching it let's see oh but it smells really good though that's interesting it does smell like it's a skincare product. So Touch and Soul is a Korean beauty brand. It says a little bit goes a long way. Place one to two drops onto your palms, rub your hands together and pat all over your face before applying your makeup. So it's supposed to help your makeup to last longer. It's supposed to protect your skin and give you a velvety smooth texture. I'm definitely going to have to try this out when I put my makeup on next time because I am very intrigued by this. It's very tacky, like it's not extremely tacky, but it does have some type of grip to it. Like it's not sticky or anything where it's gonna make your face feel very heavy. It's super lightweight on my hand. It did blend in really easy. So this was really nice to get. So that's it for everything I did get in my bag this month. I think this was a pretty good bag. So there was, I didn't realize that when I turned my bag out, there was something that fell on my leg on side of me on my chair this was a product i forgot that was coming in my bag this month the ipsy um app has a section where you could go and review your bag each month and get points so i did i did um redeem my points for a lip product last month and it came in this month's bag so i redeemed it for the give them lala beauty lip gloss i think okay yeah, it's a gloss That's this swatch right there. It's a very pinky color. It's like a light flush of pink color. It smells really good. And it's in the shade James. And yes, it says it's a lip gloss. And that's what the packaging looks like. So this came with my bag. I basically just redeemed, just basically redeemed my points and I pretty much got this for free as an extra product in my bag because I redeemed every month once you get your bag, you're able to review each product in your bag. And when you review each product in your bag, you end up getting um, points. So I think for each product you review, get 15 points. So it adds up and sometimes they have products like this that this I think was like 600 points that I had to um, trade in to get this. So it does take time to add up but once they do add up, you could trade it in for different things. And they have multiple different items that you could choose from. It's not just one product. They have like four or five at a time that you could choose which one you want. And you could choose products that are like for 350 points, 600 points. It varies as to how many points you have to trade in for each item. So this was the only thing that I saw that I wanted. If you do join Ipsy or if you're a member with Ipsy, you can go ahead and start reviewing your products and be able to get you like a little extra goodie. That's it. That's everything I got in my Ipsy bag for this month. I hope you guys did enjoy watching me unbag my Ipsy bag for this month. I really liked everything that came in my bag. I think it was a pretty good bag this month. And I'm not disappointed at all. Um, I'll definitely be using the products that I got in there and seeing how they work out for me. Or and yes guys i'll see you in my next video bye